Well, uh, Healed uh, is a book that I have co-authored uh, with another uh, lady, uh, Neelam Kumar. And uh, it's my story, my six years of uh, being diagnosed and how I came back to uh, leading a healthy life. And uh, in that whole process, uh, uh, this book is all about soul searching and digging out if there was any negative pattern which I needed to cleanse from my system, any emotional, mental uh, element uh, which was unhealthy, which was out of balance. So it's a bit of a soul uh, journey, soul searching, um, trying to connect dots, trying to put things together in perspective. And uh, through uh, the book, through my own troubles and ups and downs, uh, when I'm sharing this story earnestly with my readers, uh, I'm also hoping um, secretly that this could probably impact somebody else uh, and uh, could be useful f uh, for them. The, after my uh, diagnosis, I got totally hooked into health. So everything regarding my health, I started reading and um, you know books on whether it's Louis Hayes, whether it's uh, Andrew Veal, Dr. Andrew Veal, whether it's uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton um, and there's so many uh, other people. Uh, then I started also uh, reading a bit on Tibetan Buddhism um, because it talks about uh, death and bardo and afterlife and all that. So. Uh, each phase of my life was influenced by some issue and I, I would only look towards book for the answers. <laughs> and, so, and there were times that I really needed some motivation. So I have a huge uh, collection of motivational books also. So I have books, you laugh at me, but I have books like Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Make This Thing also. and. Um, I mean, zillion books. And earlier on, um, I used to collect books. But then later on, I realized that it's need to be read and shared. And I started distributing it to orphanage, to uh, public libraries, and give away, uh, and make space for new books. Um, my dream home, I haven't ma made it till now, but I hope to make someday. Uh, has my priority in that house is the library, my own personal library, which is going to be on top of the terrace with spectacular view of the mountains and uh, which, which has window from um, floor to the ceiling and has like r books, r book racks and one other wall. And uh, I have always imagined myself to be sitting in my own library uh, reading my favorite book and just looking at the mountain and pondering about certain issues and um, I have this whole romantic idea of what my library sh would be and how I would uh, you know spend my time and as a child um, I would say that uh, one wish I always had that uh, when I grow old my eyes remain intact so that I could read more books.